For this question, we want to graph the region described by the inequality. We have this inequality, which is negative 2x plus y is greater than or equal to 7. When we're graphing an inequality in two variables, we're going to do it in two parts, graphing the boundary first. So we'll start with the boundary. And the boundary will be the equation which replaces that inequality symbol with an equal symbol. So that's negative 2x plus y equals 7. And then you need to decide whether you're going to draw the boundary as included or not included. And since this inequality has an equal to in it, that means that our boundary, which is equal, will be included in the solution. And the way we indicate that when we draw it is to draw the boundary with a solid line. So this indicates the boundary is included. If we had an inequality like greater than or less than, where there is no equal to, the boundary wouldn't be included, and we would draw that boundary with a dashed line. So we want to draw this line, negative 2x plus y equals 7 with a solid line. I'll find the x and y intercepts to draw this line. Or if you prefer, you can put it in slope intercept form, which is pretty easy here. You can add 2x and get y equals 2x plus 7. We have a y intercept of 7 and a slope of 2. But I'm going to proceed with the intercepts. Find the x intercept by letting y equal 0. That's negative 2x plus 0 equals 7. We'll divide both sides by negative 2. And that's x equals negative 7 over 2. The y intercept, we're going to let x equal 0. And um, that's negative 2 times 0 plus y equals 7. And that will give us y equals 7. So normally this wouldn't be an issue with the negative 7 over 2, but some of you will be using technology um, like my math lab to graph this, and they may not allow for you to graph fractions. So if that's the case, then you should use uh, that slope intercept form to draw the graph. Um, but if you can, uh, do it without technology, then you'll be able to graph using these intercepts. So I'll show you both ways and you can see that they're the same line. So if you were finding the graph with the intercepts, this negative 7 over 2 would be negative 3.5. And negative three and a half would be about here. And then a y intercept of seven would be here. And you would connect those two points. If you were using the slope and the y intercept, we already have the y intercept plotted. And I would rise two and run one. And you can see that these three points all fall into the same line. So you'll get the same line using either method. Remember, we're drawing this line with a solid line because the boundary is included. And once we've done the boundary, then we're going to do the shading. The shading is the second part of this problem. The second part of graphing an inequality in two variables. And when you do the shading, you're going to choose a test point. Most people like to choose a test point of 0, 0. And you're going to substitute that test point, your test point of 0, 0, into the original inequality that was given. 
So negative 2x plus y is greater than or equal to 7. So if I substitute that test point into the inequality, I'll have negative 2 times 0 plus 0 is greater than or equal to 7. And that gives me the statement 0 is greater than or equal to 7. And that statement is false. So what that tells me is that my test point of 0, 0 is not a solution to my inequality. And that is an indication that all of the points on this side of the line are not solutions to the inequality. So on this side, we have a false statement those ordered pairs are not solutions. The other side of the line will be giving true statements and our solutions to the system. We want to shade the side that are solutions. I'm going to shade this side. And this gives me the set of ordered pairs that are solutions to this inequality. All of the ordered pairs that are shaded in yellow and including the boundary. Thank you for checking out my videos. Have a great day.